Okay, so let's do something a bit more interesting. We're going to create a connection to multiple devices and then collect some information from those devices all at once. So here what you see on the screen is a device list and this is just simply the host names of the devices that I want to reach out and connect to. And in my environment, I already have imported the device widget, as you can see there. And now I'm going to create a list of these device instances using a Python compression. So I'll say devs is equal to a list. And inside the list, I want to create a device. And the first parameter, of course, is the host name. And then the user is going to be Jay Shulman. And then the password is going to come from my variable. Now, where does host come from? That's going to come from each of the items in dev list. So we say for host in dev list. Now we've got a list of device instances. And if we want to open a connection to each of them, we can do that by using a simple for loop. We can say for d in devs, d open. And what we'll now do is initiate a connection to each of those devices. And as we do that, you'll see the device instant representing the actual host name of the device as it's you know, making the connection and collecting the facts from each of those devices. Now, once we have these devices, we can, we can look in devs. We can see that we have those three devices. And I can, of course, do something to each of those devices. Like if I said devs zero facts version, right? I could see that that's the version that that particular device is using. Right? And if I wanted to do something across all of the devices, let's say we want to collect the transceiver information from each of those devices. So in the uh, Junos Python Easy library, we have a, a widget to create the or collect the information about transceivers. So I can import that. And here, if we look in what we imported, you can see that there is a transceiver table object here. And that allows us to extract the transceiver information. So if I wanted to create a list of transceiver tables, right, maybe I call it uh, XCVR database, then I could say I want a transceiver table for each device for dev and devs. And what that's going to give me now is a list of transceiver tables mapped to each of those devices. And you can see that each of the tables are, are empty because all I've done really is created the tables. Now, if I want to get the data for each of those devices, I can, again, do something in a very simple for loop. I could say, you know, for t in xceiver db t get, which is then going to extract the transceiver information from each of those devices. And here you can see how many transceivers each of those devices actually has. Now, if I wanted to look at any one of those tables and look at the items in that table, I could do that. So I could say transceiver database zero, right? And I could say, what are the items in this table? You can see, wow, there's a lot of items in this table. And that's really hard to read. So maybe I'll, I'll use pretty print. And then I'll just say pretty print transceivers database items. Okay, so here we can see each of the transceivers for each of the locations and the information that we're collecting on each database for each transceiver is the version, the part number, and the serial number, and then the type, right? So we can get a sense of what each of these devices have in terms of the information that we're collecting. So let's say that we wanted to take an assessment or an inventory of all of the devices based on their types, right? We could say um, my types info, and again, we'll, we'll take a compression of x dot type for x in transceiver db0, right? So this would be all the types in just that first database. If I looked at that using pretty print, here we can see a list of all of the types. Now, if I wanted to automatically get a count of each of those informations, maybe I just wanted a unique count for each type, I can use something that comes from the Python collections called a counter. And if I used counter here, I could pass it the types info. 
And this tells me exactly how many I have of each of those types. So that's really handy. So now that's the information for just a single device, right? That first table in, in our databases of transceivers. Well, what if I wanted to iterate across all of those transceiver databases? Well, then we could use something called a chain in Python. And that comes from the iter tools. And what a chain allows us to do is group a bunch of things together and treat them as a single item. So if I have my transceiver database, which is essentially a list of tables, I want to look at all of the transceivers across all of the tables. And I do that using a chain. So I could say, for example, my types info is equal to x dot type, like we did before. But here we're going to say for x in chain, and then you say star transceiver database. And it's that star transceiver database that basically says all of the things in this list. And now if I look at the types info, I see we've got a very large list of all of the information. And then of course I can use a counter again, you know, on that. And here we can get an assessment of all of the types across all of the transceivers in the list of devices we're looking at. So that's an interesting way to look at you know, using things in Python, like counters and chains, as well as using widgets from the Juno's Python library, like the transceiver table. So hopefully that was fun.